Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 10, and yeah, last episode, uh, we did stuff, right? Itadori learned a bit more about, I think, curse techniques of this one guy that uses weapon and that can, like, spot the weak points or, like, deal critical damage if he hits the weak points. Um, and this episode, I think we will have contact with the bad guy we saw in the last episode, um, and... Itadori is supposed to follow the kid around, the school kid that was in contact with the bad person, with the villain. Um, so yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. Yep. Uh, so yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. There he is. Okay. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Is this a flashback? Maybe not. I think, yeah, this is a flashback, right? Those are dead now, right? I don't know, is this a flashback or not? What if it's not a flashback and he already has some powers, maybe, no? And kills them. <laughs> and that's why he maybe he's so cocky? Maybe not. Maybe it's a flashback. Because I'm pretty sure this one guy at least died, right? I don't know. Maybe just a look-alike? I have no idea. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, let's see what's gonna happen now. I mean, maybe that's the Japanese thing, but like in English, I feel like you use the word love a lot. I love the suit, I love the show. <clears throat> it's pretty much overused. <laughs> What the fuck? Somewhat. I don't care what other things. But hey, I hate them for it. And I want revenge that they treat me bad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's like, awesome. <laughs> Just do whatever you feel like doing. I mean, you're going to a school. Follow.
No matter what, rescue him. Kill him. Okay. But he is so he's special. <laughs> So that would mean that Itadori is basically special grade? <laughs> because he has a special grade curse on him? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe Itadori is like outside of the norm. Okay, here we go. What? <coughs> okay. Oh, okay, yeah. The weak spot. Oh! I mean, if we talk about, like, souls actually existing, I would say probably the soul, maybe. Didn't he say the soul or the body? I would like to go back, but nah. <laughs> so 10 more minutes what did you say 
Uh, yeah, look, happy bonding time. Mm hmm. Does he have curse energy? Itadori doesn't care. <laughs> he took his pants? Wow. Could imagine this would happen to you. Fast. So casual. So it, I, I think from the intro, I guess you could say, think, I guess that he joins the school, right? So maybe, maybe he starts to like Itadori, how Itadori, how Itadori's character is. And it's like, dude, I want to be the same. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. But I'm special. What the fuck?
So, how is this gonna end? He seems not exhausted at all. Time to clock out. <laughs> Oh, and he said he wouldn't go in overtime. He would clock out at six. Liar. I just skipped through after the to the after credit scene. I. <clears throat> What the fuck? Okay. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, it seems like that of the bad guy. I forgot his name. I think they mentioned his name already um but it seems like his his curse technique is to control or to modify souls which is kind of interesting hmm so he can shrink people he can make them larger he can disfigure them he can change his own soul to get like horse legs or whatever to be faster and all that shit has a lot of, has a lot of potential, right? Hmm. Could he give someone like a fish fin as legs, kind of like a mermaid, so that the person couldn't move anymore or something like that? That would be interesting. Hmm. And yeah, I guess. <clears throat> When it comes to the other guy, the schoolboy, um, I could maybe imagine that he maybe likes Itadori from his character, right? And maybe becomes also a Jujutsu, Jujutsu sorcerer, maybe? Because he can clearly see spirits and all that shit, right? So... Or not spirits, but curses and all that stuff. He could see the bad guy here, right? He could see him when he said, like, hey, you shouldn't suppose, you are not supposed to see me or whatever. Uh, or he was surprised that he could see him. Um, so he has potential, right? Um, and I mean, in the, we see him in the intro sitting next to Itadori. So I guess he will become a jujitsu sorcerer. But the question is how or why. Like I said, maybe because he just likes Itadori and is kind of like, yeah, I want to be the same. But I'm wondering when that maybe will happen or how it will turn out. Maybe the bad guy we see here, maybe he gets defeated and then he's like, okay, I have nowhere else to go, so let's become a Jujutsu Sorcerer. Or maybe he will become a Jujutsu Sorcerer before that. will be interesting to see how that turns out. But yeah, my guess will be that I guess he just likes Itadori and maybe wants to be the same, right? And that's why he wants to become a Jujutsu Sorcerer. But yeah, we will see. But yeah, besides that, nothing much has happened in this episode, right? We saw a bit more of his past, right? That he gets that he that he got bullied and the uh, the teacher gets it all wrong and doesn't see doesn't see the bullying, right? That happened to him. Um, and then we just saw the fight scenes were pretty good, I would say. Nothing too crazy. We saw better fight scenes in in the 
episodes before, right? But it was pretty good, right? So, yeah. I guess we continue with this fight next episode. And we'll see how it turns out with the boy. I forget his name all the time. If he will already join Itadori and the Jujutsu Sorcerer, or if he's not. So, yeah. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get. Uh, and I would say thanks for watching. <laughs> Until next time. Bye bye.